Shall we start, please? Please tell me about yourself. Yes, sir, we can start. Amrita, are you able to hear me? Uh, yes, sir, I'm able to hear you. Am I but, audible, sir? No, you are not. You are, you are not replying my question. I wanted you to introduce yourself, but you have not started answering. So probably there is some internet problem. Why don't you sit near door or sorry, sorry, near window or open space so that you get good internet connection? Okay, so I'll just sit nearer to my modem then. Yeah. One minute, sir. I say you have a Wi-Fi? Yes, sir, I have a Wi-Fi. Good. Okay, sir. Can I continue now? Now it is okay. Fine. Amrita, please tell me about yourself. Uh, thank you. First of all, thank you, sir, for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. My mm -hmm. name is Amrita B.S. Uh, I come from a rural village called Palekel in the outskirts of Trivandrum district of Kerala. My family consists of my father, who is a government employee, uh, my mother, who is a cheerful homemaker. I have an elder brother working in Singapore and also grandparents from both my parents' side. Uh, coming to my education, I have completed my early schooling up to 10th standard from Raja Riviverma Central School, Kilimanur, Tiruvandapuram. My high secondary education uh, from Amrita Sanskrit High Secondary School, Pairpalli. I have graduated in physics from Government College for Women, Vajdakada, Tiruvandapuram, under Kerala University. Uh, and postgraduated in physics from Srinarayana College for Women, Kollam, also under Kerala University. Uh, my hobbies include dancing, reading, cooking, and gardening. I'm a trained classical dancer, proficient in Bharatanatyam, Mohiniyattam, and folk dance. Currently pursuing Kerala Nadanam under Nati Sri Manjo teacher. Uh, my strengths include being an enthusiastic learner who catches up with new things effortlessly and quickly. I'm confident about my communicational and interpersonal skills. Uh, my mathemat mathematical skills and analytical skills are rather commendable. I have excellent leadership qualities that I have tied throughout my educational years uh, by being a team player. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, I have been the volunteer secretary of National Service Scheme and an active participant of Walk with Scholar during my graduation uh, and actively participating in, in extracurricular activities throughout my educational years. Thank you, sir. Very good. Nice introduction. Very confident way of expression because you were a dancer yourself. So dancers, normally you may not have shyness because you participate in dance programs and all. You had Arangetram and all done properly? Yes, sir. It was for 14 years back, I had my Arangetram. After that, you have participated in some, uh, say, in the uh, dance festivals or dance programs. Or are you, are you giving dance periodically in some places? Do you do that or how are you keeping yourself busy in dance? Uh, sir, I have been constantly giving programs uh, around five years back, till five years back. And I'm currently I am pursuing now only because I have been busy with my uh, studies. I have been away from home and now I am restarting it. Okay. Uh, it's only one month since I have restarted and studying Kerala Nadanam now. Good, good, good. And um, do you go to some school for relearning it? Yes, sir. Uh, I am going to Amritakala Dance Academy headed by an artist manager teacher. Mm -hmm. Good. So you are practicing, started practicing vigorously. Good. Now, can you please tell me what is the advantage of doing dance regularly? Uh, sir, it is a great relief for mental stress and also for our physical uh, well-being, balancing of life. Dance is everything, sir. We can find ourselves motivated and even every problem seems to be going away when we are dancing. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Good. I really appreciate you. This Thank dancing you. interest, you... Uh, parents inculcated in you or you started developing a taste in it since when you were in your school? Uh, sir, 
it it was my grandmother who initiated uh, the effort of taking me to dance classes it, i was only 3 years old i didn't know about anything mm -hmm. and she was the one who motivated me to take the classes and gradually uh, i think it came it, to me the they, idea of dance yeah who are the famous dancers in kerala uh, in kerala we have of when you're asking me i i'm really Pardon. speechless but no, yeah now can I, you can you tell me about what are the different dance forms followed in kerala so mainly uh, kerala is famous for mohini atam and kerala nadanam uh, mohini atam is the basic uh, dance form of kerala and kerala nadanam is more influenced from kathagali uh, the art form of kerala and uh, we have folk dances uh, then then bharatanatyam is famous in kerala yet it is from tamil nadu and kuchipudi is also gaining momentum but it is from karnataka karnataka or andhra pradesh oh sir andhra pradesh andhra pradesh i don't know i am not sure about it but still it's okay fine um you can also try to remember the famous people in dance the awards they received what are the awards given by kerala government for dance dancing Uh, so there is uh, not Bhartanatyam. Now you please prepare on these lines. There will be certainly questions asked to you from this. Okay, sir. I'll I'll surely go through that, sir. You are a physics graduate, na? Huh? MSc physics. Yes sir. yes, sir. Which topic are you going to teach me now in physics in one minute or two minutes? Okay, sir. I guess Newton's laws are really important in physics, so I'll teach you about Newton's law. Yeah, can you tell all the both all the three laws? Yes, sir. Please. I am teaching students, sir. So I think I am good in it. That. Please tell me. So the first law is that every body continues in its state of rest or uniform motion along straight line unless an external force is acted upon that. The second law is the change in momentum of every body is directly proportional to force applied on it. The third law is. every action has an equal and opposite reaction so should i explain that super 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 you told the law very correctly and very much happy about it tell me something about boyle's law so boyle's law, i am not sure so charles lane boyle's law always confuses me acha okay archimedes principle uh, archimedes principle uh, states that when a body is partially or fully immersed in water or any other liquid the volume of the liquid displaced is equal to the net weight of the body good x net weight or mass of the body i am not sure huh uh, mm. i think it's the weight sir that's i don't know i am because i studied some 50 years ago or 69 means how many years 54 54 year yeah 54 years ago bsc physics only anyhow uh -huh. nice nice thank, thank you, you thank you now coming to banking do you think you will be happy in federal bank uh yes sir i'm sure i'll be happy in federal bank because federal bank is the only commercial bank in india recognized by the great place to work i mean top 15 in india's best workplaces so i guess i'll be really happy to work with such a privileged institution good now why did you not try about doing research in physics um so i love the subject but still the field is really stagnant and going after research will be taking up a lot of time uh, according to me this is the time for me to be uh, soaring in my career being financially independent and my field offers really less opportunities for that and i needed something uh, really uh, well now so i guess banking is the best sector which have quick recruitment process and a secure career so i thought no, of but, taking it up. but this is the only question they have been asking everybody it, it, it appears 10 times if you are a physics graduate with good academic records why did you choose banking instead of going there why you chose physics after 12th why banking after physics again why banking after physics 
questions were mostly about my subject physics. They have not told what the questions were. The why banking after physics again, again, why banking after physics like that repeatedly this type of questions are being asked. So be ready for some any question that they may ask you. Okay. Can, can you tell about some famous uh, physics scientists in our country now? Uh, now. Mm. So now we have a ISRO head, Mr. S. Somnath. Mm. He is from Kollam, Kerala. Oh, uh, excellent. Then, yes, sir. What is the achievement then, of Chandrayaan 3? Can you tell us briefly? Sir, uh, Chandrayaan 3 have been the first uh, mission to land on the south pole of moon, which is the most difficult place to land at two soft landing. And uh, Chandrayaan 3 have founded the traces of sulfur uh, in the atmosphere of and the in the atmosphere as well as the land of moon, uh, tracing back to the presence of water, maybe. And also the temperature variations have been breathtaking because it changes really fast. Like uh, in the surface, it is 55 degrees Celsius. And when we are going 10 kilometer down, it ranges to minus 10 degrees Celsius. Uh, and even the atmospheric temperatures is uh, changing very fast. These have been the first results that came out. Now we can see so another payloads. They have been doing their experiments now. Whatever it is, Right now, it is not useful for a common man living in India. Mm. So why should government spend crores and crores of rupees on such efforts? So this was the first question being uh, asked when we were starting our space missions. Why should we uh, have to spend our money on space while, while people are here uh, suffering from poverty? But it has changed our uh, course of life because now we are uh, really good at forecasting our climate, even technologically and internet banking is possible because we are having the satellites but, above. But, for... but, it, but it has not helped the poor man on the road. The, even now, there are thousands and ten thousands and lakhs of families without a proper place to stay. I don't know whether it is there. You are in Trivandrum. Yes, sir, they went to Puram, Kerala. I don't know whether it is how it is in Trivandrum, but I am knowing about, a, a, say, place like Bombay, place like Chennai and all, where people live on the roads. Correct? Yes, sir, it's correct. Yeah, but there is no answer to my question, but still this type of questions can be put, be ready to give some answer, at least to your satisfaction, though not to the satisfaction of the interviewer okay sir okay good which bank do you have a bank account sir state bank of india any of your parent any of your family people have accounts in federal bank uh, no sir why you are from kerala you have been living here for so many years why did you not open account with federal bank so, Federal Bank branch is uh, around 6.1 kilometers away from my home. And I have an SBI branch, which is in a walkable distance. So, everybody but, is having a phone there. But you know, now supposing a person is going to tell like this, how will you can convince him to open account with you? I'll be uh, asking him, I'll be telling him about the advantages that Federal Bank is offering. Even the... Uh, in or the customer service. When you are mm -hmm. going to SBI, there will be a huge line in front of the bank and there will be nobody to attend to you personally. But if you are coming to Federal Bank, we'll be attending everybody uh, with utmost care. We'll, you'll be getting in-person assistant and mm, you can be safe with us. We are our perfect banking partner for you. I'll be telling them like that, sir. <laughs> Now, for others, it is a different way. For you, it is a different way. It doesn't matter. Now, you can also tell him about the digital banking facilities and all. Tell him it is not necessary you have to come all the time to bank. You can get majority of transactions done through digitally. And wherever you need to come only, you need to come. And we will take care of you very closely, very nicely. Like that, you should try to... Talk to him. You must be convinced of that answer. Okay, sir. Okay. 
how many branches of federal bank are there in our country um 1319 branches no from where did you get this figure uh, so i guess you just guessed it, huh? No, sir. I have read it somewhere. No, no. Uh, it cannot. It, it cannot. Be, it can never be thousand three hundred nineteen and all that. Somewhere it is given as thousand three fifty five. Somewhere it is given as thousand three hundred eighty five. I don't know why they themselves are giving like this in the website of the federal bank itself. Doesn't matter. So whatever it is, tell them thousand three hundred and fifty yeah. plus. Okay, sir. Good. Tell me what you know about Federal Bank. Uh, so Federal Bank is a leading private sector bank in India, headquartered at Aluva, Kuchi, Kerala. Uh, founded as Travancore Federal Bank in 1931 by K.P. Homis. And uh, it has a customer base of 10 million and 1.5 million NRI uh, customers. A customer base of how much? 10 million. No. 1.66 crore, 16 million. 16 million, okay, sir. Wrong, because it is there in the website itself. They have given very clearly 1.66 crore, then 1,385 banking outlets. Perhaps they are including the uh, electronic outlets and all, plus 1,000, some 800, 900, say that ATMs plus cash recyclers and all. What it is, please check it up properly and get to know that. Okay, sir, I'll, I'll check up. Very good. Where was I? I was in this question. Yeah. Now, Federal Bank, you are, what do you know about Federal Bank? You just committed a mistake. Next, okay. next point. Uh, Federal Bank is listed in Bombay Stock Ex Exchange, National Stock Exchange of India and London Stock Exchange. Achha? And has, oh, oh. I don't know. Very good. Tell me. Federal Bank um, has a branch at India's first international financial services center at Gift City, Gujarat. Mm. Mm. Uh, and Federal Bank has sponsored Northeast United FC in 2019-20 in the uh, Indian Super League season. Mm. Mm. Uh, and the CSR activities including mainly uh, for the benefits of agrarian society, creating employment and facilities for banking uh, in rural and backward societies. Mm. Uh, Federal Bank is a digital bank. Hey, if, you, if, if, you, if you can mention some location and all, it will be good location, institution for CSR. Uh, okay, sir, I'll look, it, look that yeah, up. Yeah, next. Um, good, good. You told nicely. Any one more, two or three more points? Uh, three more points. Okay, sir. Uh, it is. It was uh, in the year 2022-2023, Federal Bank was uh, awarded the best place to work among the top 50 India's best workplaces uh, by Good. the Great Place to Work. Good. Also, the core values include a commitment to excellence, agility, relationship orientation, ethics and sustainability, which is shorted as CARES. And the motto of Federal Bank is your perfect banking partner and uh, digit, digital at the fore and human at the core. Thank you, super, sir. Super, 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 super. Can you please tell me how banking helps in national growth? But I think I have to talk to you for a longer time, but then we will stop with this. Maybe second time when you come for an interview, we will discuss. Okay. Oh, okay, sir. Yeah. Now tell me last question for you. How banking helps in national growth? Uh, banking is the core of a country's uh, development. Mm. Being the exchanger of currency and monetary uh, benefits between individuals, uh, it is the best way uh, to... Uh, sir, I'm not sure I'm good at that. You are not prepared for it. I suggest yes. you go to, uh, what is that, our uh, chat GPT yes. or Google, make a search, then prepare an answer for that. It is not difficult. Yes. You can prepare it by searching it. Good. Now, let me check up with Suman. Suman, you have come for observing or for interview? Suman? Suman, are you there? Suman, Suman, Suman. Suman? 
uh, you have come for mock observing or interviewing. Hello, Suman. Suman. Suman, Suman, Suman. Because if he is coming for that, I, I will discontinue. Otherwise, I will talk to you because you are answering well. One minute. Suman, Suman, Suman. One minute. Let me check up. Uh, Priya, you know about Suman? No, sir. Oh. Uh, Suman. Who is Suman? I think there's some issue with her mic because uh, she had unmuted herself. But... Um... Is this, yeah, it is Suman only, 7-0, just a minute. Priya, please wait for me. If you yes, are... sir. Uh, sir, uh, she texted uh, on the chat box saying that she's here for observing. Achha, achha. This this person, 7633. Yeah, only observing. Uh, boy, no? This is a boy. Yeah. 76, Suman, uh... 7633. Yeah, yeah, maybe for observing. Then it's okay. We will continue with our... Mm, Amrita. Amrita, Amrita. Yes, sir. You could not answer me that question. What is that question? How the bank helps in the economy. You can tell them that bank helps uh, uh, cultivating saving habit among the people, give the safety of their deposits, give them benefit of interest. Uh -huh. Then they use the money and give advances to various uh, activities, including education, housing, agriculture, then exports, um, self-help group, MSME and all that, thereby creating more employment opportunities, more production, more increase in production, more, um, say, economic growth and more GDP. And that is in turn helping the country also. Okay? Okay, okay sir. Something like that you can tell. You can prepare some points on that. Otherwise, you have been answering most of my questions correctly or I have not asked tough questions to you so far. I don't know what it is. I will ask some, what is that? Rapid fire quiz, some five items. Let me see how you are answering it. Okay, Amr sir. Amrita. Okay, sir. Amrita, please tell me the expansion of I-R-D-A-I. I R D A I. Uh, don't know. Okay. Insurance Regulatory Development Authority of India. You don't know. No problem. Please, please tell me who is the governor of Reserve Bank of India? Uh, Mr. Shakti Kandadas. Can you name the deputy governor who has been recently appointed? No, sir. I don't know. Swami Nadan Janaki Raman. Okay, sir. Swami Nadan Janaki Raman. Yeah. Who is the Vice President of India? Um, that too I have read, sir, but it is not coming to my mind now. Jagdeep Dankar. Jagdeep Dankar. Jagdeep Dankar. Who is the Chief Justice of India? Uh, Ashish Deshai. No. Mr. Y.V. Chandra Chudda. Anyhow, I think you are weak in GK. Yes, sir. You are weak in banking. You yes. are confident in talking. You are not having fear in meeting people. Your voice module, etc. is super. That way, nice. But this also you must try to develop. So how do you <clears throat> look now? Are you looking with tension or with less tension? Uh, no, 